There are a bunch of algorithms that can only work with sorted data. If you apply them on unsorted data, the result is undefined. Those algorithms are binary search, merge, and a group of set operations. Every one of the sorted data algorithm has a generalized form with the same name. First, binary search. The binary search function searches a data in a data range. In this example, it checks if 9 is available in VAC. And it returns a boolean indicate whether the data is found or not. The generalized form of binary search would be checking if one of the items in VAC matches certain condition. The function includes is similar to binary search except that instead of searching one item, it searches multi multiple items. So in this example, it checks if all items in S are also available in VAC. And it returns true if all items of S is included in VAC. One thing to note is both VAC and S must be sorted. The function lower bound searches for a position where a particular item can be inserted and still keep the sorting. In this example, it searches a position for 9, so it will return an iterator pointing to this 9. Upper bound searches the last position where 9 could be inserted and still keep the sorting, so it returns an iterator pointing to 45. Equal range returns both first and last position of inserting 9. So the function of binary search and includes search elements in a data range. And the lower bound, upper bound, and equal range search position in a data range. So there's a subtle difference between these two groups of searching. Now let's talk about merge. The merge function merges two range of sorted data into one big range of sorted data. In this example, it merges VAC and VAC2 into VAC out. Both VAC and VAC2 must be pre-sorted, and VAC out contains every item from VAC and VAC2 in a sorted order. Another thing to note is all the duplicates are kept, nothing is dropped. Inplace merge. Inplace merge only takes one range of data as input, but that data must have two groups of sorted data. For example, VAC has 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And after in, in place merging, VAC contains 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 5. If you are familiar with merge sort, the in-place merge does one step of merge sort. Number three, set operations. Set union creates a union of vec and vec2 and save the result in vec out. So if vec is 8, 9, 9, 10 and vec2 is 7, 9, 10, the resulted vec out is 7, 8, 9, 9, 10. The difference between set union and merge is merge keeps everything, all the duplicates are kept. But set union, if there's an element that's in both VAC and VAC2, only one copy of that element is kept in the result. So here we have a duplicate 9 and duplicate 10. But this 9 is not duplicated, so the result has two 9s and one 10. Set intersection is the opposite of set union, which means only the items in both VAC and VAC2 are saved in VAC out. So VAC out contains only 9 and 10. Set difference is to find the items that's in VAC but not in VAC2. Let me repeat, the items in VAC but not in VAC2, there's a direction in this. In this example, 9 and 10 are in VAC, but also in VAC2. And 8 and 9 
are in vac but not in vac2. So the resulted vac out contains only 8 and 9. Set symmetric difference is to find the symmetric difference between two vectors. It not only finds the items that's in vac and not in vac2, but also find the items that's in vac2 but not in vac. So it not only finds 8 and 9, it also finds 7. 7 is in vac2 and not in vac. So these are the algorithms that can only work on sorted data. Each one of them has a generalized form that allows you to provide your own version of the comparison function. Now let's look at the numeric algorithms. Numeric algorithms are defined in the header of numeric, not in the header of algorithm. And they include accumulate, inner product, partial sum, and adjacent difference. First, accumulate. The function accumulate accumulates the data in this range. And it also allows you to provide uh, initial data. So the resulted operation is 10 plus vec0 plus vec1 plus vec2, etc. The generalized form of accumulate allows you to provide your own operation. In this example, I'm providing multiply. So the resulted operation is 10 times of vec0 times of vec1 times of vec2, etc. Number two, in the product. The function in the product is to calculate the in the product of two range of data. In this example, the first range is from vec.begin to vec.begin plus 3, and the second range starts from vec.end minus 3. So it is these three of data in the product with these three of the data. And this is the resulted operation. The generalized form of inner product allows me to provide my own operation. In this example, I'm simply switching multiplies and plus. So the resulted operation is this. Partial sum. The function partial sum is to calculate the partial sum of this range of data and save the result at this place. And here is the detailed operation vec to 0 equal to vec 0, vec to 1 equal to vec 0 plus vec 1, etc. I can also provide my own operation for the partial sum. And in this example, all the plus will be uh, changed to multiplies. Adjacent difference. The adjacent difference function calculate the difference between adjacent items and then save the result at this place. So here is the operations vec2 0 equal to vec0, vec2 1 equal to vec1 minus vec0, etc. And I can also provide my own operation for the adjacent difference. Although in this case I'm using plus so it's really adjacent sum not adjacent difference but we have to use the name adjacent difference. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. Feel free to subscribe to my channel so when I post a new video you will be updated. Or you can go to my channel's homepage and see what I'm offering today. Bye bye.